Hello and welcome to Kyala Gray Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar Analysis. Horrible day today. In fact, uh, I think the first truly horrible day in a really long time. Uh, I, 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 I think uh, I have posted my losses for today. I mean, in the first half, all my uh, call spreads went wrong. So I thought I'll recover by doing some futures gambling. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Just like I said yesterday, I shouldn't have been keeping a uh, call spreads for this expiry. I should have probably thought of next expiry. But uh, who listens to their own advice, right? So I did the short, I mean, long gamma for this uh, expiry and I royally got what I had to get. And then I got some more on the futures. So all of that went wrong. Uh, so let's see what the market holds for tomorrow. Amit is saying tomorrow, big short covering. Why? Amit, uh, uh, man, I'm going to shoot myself if I realize tomorrow market will go up. But... Uh, I think a lot of, I think today was a, so let me put it this way, right? Uh, see, there are two kinds of mistakes. One is, it is a genuine mistake. You know that it's a wrong trade. You had no reason to take the trade and you did some plan pay deviation, something, something, something that I understand. But knowing what I know yesterday, if this morning somebody had to ask me to uh, uh, decide a trade, I probably would have been long yesterday evening. But yeah, my mistake was that I should have been out to this morning. So yes, going long yesterday, you can't say it is wrong because the channel was holding, the open interest data was supporting 18200 and a lot of puts. Uh, FIA data was positive because of the huge option buy. So See, sometimes you do the right thing and then something goes against you and you lose money. That is fine, right? Uh, but today, not hitting stop loss. When 18200 convincingly broke, that was a thing which I had no business doing. That was a mistake, right? But I hope you did not make that mistake. But you are tough here because you were very close to support also, right? Like, uh, even when it went down this morning, uh, at from around 1800, it almost uh, bounced back to 18200. So it's not like he, you know, once the channel broke convincingly, you can short at 181. So let's look at it this way, right? At 18200, you found the price action to be breaking. Then you shorted at around 18150, let's say. Uh, market went to 18100, that's fine. But it all the futures, I mean, I'm talking about futures level, it went back to uh, uh, 18200, right? Uh, so what, what's the point? It's, it's tough to trade. Sometimes gen genuinely things are tough to trade. As an AK hindsight, may you can say, oh, I could have made money like this. I could have. I don't honestly. I don't think I could have made money today because I did take a trade at eighteen one hundred and ten futures somewhere in the afternoon. It went to eighteen one eighty nine or something on futures. I did not uh, book the profit. Uh, because uh, it crossed all move, sorts of moving averages, traded above VWAP. I thought, Ki chalo yaar nikal lete, but it did not happen, right? It came back. So whether you were short, long or something, unless you get got a lot of things right, it was not very easy to make money today. Even if you were short at the breach of 18,200, right? Uh, if market went to 18,100, you wouldn't have probably booked the profit, right? And when it bounced back, you probably would have hit a trailing stop loss. So unless you were playing for uh, short kind of uh, movements, uh, yeah. Fintech Division is saying, Fintech Division is saying we should retest the lows made in December. Lack of buying was evident. Fake out. Hmm. Okay. If we open it resistance with a gap up, it can be a good shorting option. Let's see. Let's see. So I'll, I'll, I'll answer to your point with uh, something in the end. But anyway, let's jump into today's analysis. Right? But, but my main point is that Look, sometimes everything goes wrong, right? And we have to accept it. Uh, the only thing is that it's not a bad idea to genuinely know that, look, there is nothing I could have done right today, right? Probably I could have stayed out of the market after that breach, thinking that, yeah, mere ko samaj bhi hai. that was a mistake, I agree. But if you shorted after the breach of 18200, it's not necessary that you would have made money because you shorted at 18200, it went to 18100 odd levels on futures. Then it bounced back to 18200. Very tough, right? I mean, it's not like, and then it came back again to 18100. 
तो आप शॉर्ट करो लॉन्ग करो वेरी वॉलेटाइल स्विंगी डे राइट सो दैट इज माई मेन हेडलाइन बट लेट्स लुक एट द चार्ट वॉट इट्स लुकिंग लाइक सो ही इज द प्रॉब्लम वी अर्लियर आइडेंटिफाइड अ स्विंग लेवल विच वॉज एटीन थाउजेंड समवेयर अराउंड एटीन थाउजेंड राइट इट्स नेवर अ सिंगल पॉइंट इट्स अ जोन एटीन थाउजेंड टू एटीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी और एटीन थाउजेंड सिक्सटी यू कैन से निफ्टी इज नाउ क्लोज टू दैट लेवल and it is slightly dipping below that level channel seems to have broken so channel is gone uh, this level is gone it's below uh, 50 dma and seems like it's almost an engulfing it's not purely an engulfing because today's open was not above yesterday's close but we have a kind of a bearish setup on the chart uh, chart seems to have broken but bank nifty on the other hand it's still firmly in the channel but the channel bottom can be retested because channel bottom is slightly away right so here's the channel bottom right channel bottom is what 42300 types right so nifty and bank nifty are giving two different setups because bank nifty is in the channel can retest the low of the channel uh, nifty is uh, <coughs> nifty is outside the channel and it can uh, no, sorry is outside the channel and it can be a genuine break right and the so here's the thing right yesterday i was talking about how there is so there is a nifty bank nifty and dollar correlation today that also broke so you can see that dollar was down today right and that's a fairly rare event that all three go down together but today that happened right it's one of those days when everything goes wrong now let's look at open interest data today no matter what time frame you choose you can see that um, so if you look at morning right let's say 9:15 to 10:30 types it's a unidimensional call selling market if you look at 10:30 to uh let's say around noon it is again a unidimensional call sell market if you do from 11:45 to uh let's say 18100 uh, sorry i mean 11:45 to 130 it is still a call selling market if you look at closing action uh this is interesting because there is a lot of call unwind during closing action but that could just be intraday people getting out mm. but net net overall if you look at the whole day this is what it looks like genuine put unwind at 18200 6.5 million puts were unwound from 18200 and 10 million calls added at 18100 uh, 18200 is now a big resistance 18100 is a big resistance there is no significant support pcr is at 0.5 everything is negative right so uh nifty is on a crucial make or break support zone bank nifty is in the channel option chain is call build up pcr is 0.5 none of this looks very encouraging now let's look at to F go to fi data which is where everything becomes depressing uh, i mean not depressing for me because i got out of everything today booked the loss and said okay no not nothing doing uh, but for index it is generally depressing because whatever happened yesterday did a complete u turn today and uh, fi sold 80000 calls Uh, and bought eighty uh, thousand puts, and sold twenty six hundred crore futures, and sold twenty six hundred crore stock. So everything is bearish again, right? So if you ask me, everything is bearish, right? And uh, if you ask me to predict, I I might be very very tempted to say the channel will break. Everything is bearish. uh future of nifty depends on whether nifty will hold the 18000 or 18100 zone <clears throat> if it does not we can see further bearish move and uh, we might see correction probably till 17800 which was the uh, you know uh, which is somewhere around the 200 ema and this low and who knows right if this can happen the channel is broken comprehensively i would not even be surprised if i see a correction all the way to 17200 300 levels where there is a 200 ema but basically the point i'm trying to make here is that if this is broken convincingly and i don't want to call it broken today channel is broken but this uh, 18000 level is not broken today but if both of them are taken out we can see a lot more bearish action in the coming day uh, the only uh, positive point is that bank nifty is still in the channel bank nifty is still above its previous all time high bank nifty is still up trending bank nifty is still above 50 dma and bank nifty is 40% of nifty so it it's highly unlikely that nifty is uh, going down where bank nifty demonstrates strength right so 
so here is uh, the last part dollar dollar we talked about it i i think genuinely it's a thoda tricky market it's back into that triangle so i'm not going to uh, call dollar right now because sometimes you genuinely don't understand it's better to stay away so net net right so but i'll tell you where everything takes an interesting turn see tomorrow is expiry so open interest data which is overwhelmingly bearish becomes null and void tomorrow 3:30 right after that the open interest has a new story because everybody gets out of their positions everything is unwound this week's open interest is reset right so open interest data is no longer bearish after 3:30 tomorrow right unless new shorts come and all fii data on options is also not bearish after um oh well, this is weird what happened oh yeah sorry so fii data on options will also go away in a big way after 3:30 tomorrow so if you're looking at weekly options data from open interest and weekly options data from fii please do not be shorting based on what you uh, saw today because tomorrow's expiry will reset on uh, uh, option data therefore i will not trade a bearish position for tomorrow based on today's data because today's data is going away right now uh although an uh, fi data one part of fi data is bearish i would agree that is the futures data and you can see this right fi index futures oi has steadily been building up and now it's a very big number uh, in terms of number of quantity uh, uh, there is uh, i mean in terms of quantity there is 40000 quantity index futures short and that is very negative right so this is negative i agree and that will stay till the end of jan expiry and it is one of the bigger negative ois we have seen in some time this 46k because if you look at the futures oi of fi in december and all right it was positive this is uh, gone to negative territory and today is a very big negative oi which is created also we did notice in the last few sessions that fi stock data has been consistently negative since 23 december 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a lot of stocks have been sold right so while i have to acknowledge the bearishness present in index futures i have to acknowledge the index stocks uh, bearishness present option data might reset tomorrow it doesn't mean it turns bullish market is still bearish so you have to be careful chinmay is asking why can't we look at next week's oi chinmay that's because oi does not really get formed on a weekday but tomorrow if there's a lot of action on a previous week's weekday so tomorrow if there's a lot of action we'll see a lot of fi at oi getting built uh, uh, by tomorrow evening uh, uh, so um, one second yeah uh, so uh, i would wait to see what is happening right because if it can be bull trap it can be bear trap also anil is asking gun to your head tell me the trades you are going to so this is an interesting question uh, so anil has asked me a question gun to your head tell me the trades you are going to take tomorrow so if a gun is put on my head and somebody says ki boss what is the trade you are going to trade tomorrow i am going to show this see <laughs> sometimes you genuinely don't understand what is happening and for me right now right see there have been pre- so many occasions in the past where we could easily identify whether market is going up or not right at 16800 we gave a bull call at 17500 we were bullish at 18000 we were bullish we were bullish all the way to 18800 and all and those were easier markets to trade and we could do it easily right now there is a genuine sense of confusion prevailing and even for the last few days we have been saying ki next week expiry low gamma risk let's reduce the point uh, let's reduce the position size let's take uh, uh, slightly uh, out, out, you know lesser gamma trades let's do small bet size etc i mean like we are unsure what is happening right so if you ask me the question uh, ki what trades am i going to take tomorrow i will say ye meri expertise nahi hai i am out right so so i'm not going to trade tomorrow hopefully and i'll have the discipline to stick to what i said and if i'm going to post a screenshot tomorrow at 3:30 saying this is my verified pnl i really should get help for gambling addiction and go to you know rehab <laughs> so 
so yeah this is our analysis for today uh, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow um, uh, so as uh, usual you know uh, if you're not sure about something please don't take a trade like i said market will give you hazar act uh, opportunities to make money when you are more certain the important thing is to take large bets when we are reasonably sure and stay away from large bets uh, when we are not so sure right so on that note i'll see you again uh, tomorrow uh, as usual please take care uh, folks and uh, keep your